to another John's Tech video. So today we are looking at a Lenovo Mini PC. It is a Lenovo M720Q Tiny Desktop Mini PC. It has an Intel Core i5, uh, 8400T, 6 cores, 6 threads, 8GB of DDR4 RAM, 256GB SSD and Intel UHD Graphics 630 for the graphics processor. Now I picked this up for two reasons. One, I was kind of curious what they look like inside and I will show you guys that as well. And two, I just want to see the performance of these. So what we're going to do, we're going to run Cinebench for CPU benchmarking. Uh, can't really do a GPU benchmark because a lot of benchmarking tools don't seem to acknowledge the Intel UHD graphics. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to run a benchmark. And then we're going to look at the scores and we'll compare them to my Ryzen system. See where it fares. It should should do quite well because they're both 6 cores. Apart from my AMD has 12 threads instead of 6 threads. But we'll find out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch over and we will do a Cinebench test bench. So see you in a minute guys. So guys, it's time to show you the inside of this little PC. So, I probably should have got a screwdriver already, but you know. I'm not the most organised of people. So these are quite easy to take apart. What you've got to do is flip it upside onto its end. See this screw? I'm going to have to move it over a bit so that it hit the camera. But all we need to do is simply remove this. That comes off, and then what you do is you put it down on the desk. And you just forwards. Here is the look at the, of the inside of the Intel, uh, the Lenovo PC. So CPU here, very small fan. Um, SSD goes here, we have to be careful of that ribbon cable. Put an M.2 slot here. Uh, I believe the RAM is also underneath here, so if we unscrew the, this side. Oh, actually, if I'm not mistaken, some clips. Now I don't want to break this. Obvious reasons. Um, but it does seem to have a clip. Is it the other side? No, there is a missing screw. That's not a good sign, is it? Okay. So we're not going to take that off because um, I don't have any thermal face to replace but if I take it off. So, yeah, guys, as I said, this is a small PC. But if we just put the SSD back in the place real quick, you can see it's about the width of two SSDs. Um, I thought I had another SSD here. Um, I'll go and show you another SSD. But I do. Let's take this out of the case. So, really, there's another SSD. It's not really that big, it's the width of two SSDs. So, very, very compact. Um, let's just put the case back on and then we'll show you some of the IO. We will uh, screw that back on after. So on the back we've got proprietary power which um, I never like. Display port, we've got the USB there, which I've got a mouse plugged into. HDMI, another USB that I've got a keyboard plugged into. Two USB 3s and an Ethernet jack on the back which is uh, gigabit. Now flip it over, we've got another USB, this is an always on, so whenever this is plugged in, that USB always has power to charge devices. USB Type-C, so that's um, USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-C. We've got um, headphone jack and dedicated microphone jack. So yeah, there you go guys, there's a look inside the Lenovo Tiny PC. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So guys, I don't think those test results are too bad considering this little PC doesn't even... It hasn't got warm. And it's very small. It's, you know, I'm, as I said, I'm gonna sh you guys would have seen what it looks like by now because I would have cut the uh, video in. But, you know, it's doing well. It's got a tiny cooler. The scores aren't too bad. But now comes the question, what am I going to use this for? So, I'm going to be using this to constantly take a backup of my streaming PC or my recording PC, the guys that the one I'm using for this. Um, so I don't need any video files and things like that. And second of all, I'm going to use it in the recording box. So instead of using 
a full like a multiple PCs to do recordings. I can use still use multiple PCs, but much smaller one, less power, less noise, less heat. Plug a capture card in, you know, you can have a good recording experience. You know, six cores. That's gonna handle it perfect. Considering when I'm recording videos like this for OBS, uh, uh, through OBS, I should say, I'm only using four cores. Now I've got dual Xeons in the build that um, I used to record on. So that puts out a lot of heat. But I'm only using four cores, but because they're all on, it generates heat. So would, I, would I recommend buying one of these? Um, if, you don't, if you're not looking to game on it, yes. If you're looking to game, not so much. The Intel HD graphics aren't going to be the best. Um, you know, you, can run, you could run eSports titles, just for very low settings. So light gaming's okay. Um, productivity. Well, if you're recording, then yes. Light video editing, like 720p, maybe 1080p, 60. Then yeah, you could you could render with that. You could use it as a render box. Uh, you could also use it as a home server, so a mini server. You know, keep all your family photos and stuff on, like things like that, on there. Well, if you just aren't going to use it, and just use it for recording, plug a capture card into it. You know, record from a camera, my phone. Uh, you can record your laptop, record your console from it. To be honest, if you could plug capture card in HD, it'd be great for recording console gameplay. So if you want to start a gaming YouTube channel, they're very. You know, I've got this cheap, two hundred pound. You know, which is I'm gonna guess around three twenty five, uh, two thirty five dollars, something somewhere around there. Great little machine. Good for starting a YouTube channel with, or starting Twitch streams with. Things like that. So I will leave a link to where you can get one of these in the description. Uh, prices are going to be up, changing constantly because things are in demand at different rates at the moment. Everyone working from home. So without further ado, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.